Hello and welcome to the physics topic forces, lesson one, an intro to forces. We're going to take a look at what a force is and the different effects that force can have on objects. And then also what a balanced force is and what an unbalanced force is. So looking at these two images, a force is classed as a push or a pull. So you've got the man there pushing the hay bale, and you've got also the gentleman there pulling on the rope for a tug of war. You will see the effect of the force. So you will see that hay bale moving forward and you will see um, the tug of war pulling people towards you. And the unit for measurement of force is Newtons, which is the capital N. Really important you know that and remember it and that you write it correctly as a capital letter. So also the force acts in a specific direction and they quite often work in pairs. So the uh, force will have an effect on the overall direction of movement of an object as well. So you've got five ideas here of what forces can do. So the first one with the bat and the ball being that forces can make an object either speed up or start moving. So when you hit that tennis ball, it will start moving. Second one with the people on the bike, you can, a force can slow something down. Uh, it can slow the cyclist down or it can gradually make them stop. And the third one there, you've got a screwdriver and a nail. So um, a force will make something turn, the force acting on that screwdriver into the nail will make the, or into the screw will make the screw turn. Then the cricket player there, number four, will, um, when they hit that ball, the ball will change direction. It will come them from one direction, they will hit it to change it to move to another direction. And then Finally, the force can change the shape of an object so it can compress it like is happening there with that bottle. A person's compressed the bottle. It can also stretch, it can also bend, and it can also twist. You've got a bit of twist happening there with that bottle as well. So you need to be really clear on those effects of what the forces can do. Now, forces can be balanced. So you've got some examples of this here. Balance force means that the object doesn't change its movement. It doesn't mean it has to stay still. It also means it can move at a steady speed and moving in the same direction. So um, that boat is stationary, but if it were moving at a steady speed, that uh, force on the boat would be balanced. The book there, forces on the book are balanced, it's not moving. Um, because it's balanced on the table and the same with the vase of flowers on the other table. Now, unbalanced forces are a different matter because the speed can be changed and the direction can be changed. So it can change, if the force act, the forces acting are unbalanced, it can change the direction of movement of the object and it can also change the speed. So one of the forces that are acting on an object would be greater than the other, which means it will either speed up or slow down. You need to be able to recognise in images whether forces are balanced or unbalanced, and you need to be able to identify them and say what the overall movement will be in that picture and image. 